If there was one time in my life that I didn't want to be in Paris, it would be right now because SpaceX just achieved what many people thought was impossible. What kind of science fiction reality am I living in? SpaceX just caught a booster with Mechazilla arms or chopsticks. Getting to this point and actually having Starship's fifth flight has been a battle. SpaceX had so much riding on this attempt and it was more than an attempt because they actually made it happen with barely a launch window to work with, with a last minute launch date secured and an FAA license granted. SpaceX has been ready to fly the Starship and Super Heavy since August. As we know, because of the sonic boom and the catch profile, the FAA delayed the launch and we were expecting it to be in late November. But there must have been some pretty heavy political pressure behind the scenes. Maybe we can thank Rep. Kevin Kiley for confronting the FAA directly during a Boeing Starliner testimony about if they were holding up the Starship launch for any legitimate reasons. <laughs> I am still in disbelief. I did not think that we were even going to see the launch on October 13th or that we would see a catch. I thought that last minute the catch would be delayed, it would be aborted, and we would have a profile similar to Flight 4. So I am devastated that I wasn't able to be there in person, but I'm so, so overjoyed for SpaceX. Like I said, they had so much riding on this launch to go well, and if it hadn't have gone well, well, we don't need to worry about that. They achieved what so many people think was impossible, and that's just been the SpaceX story from the very start. The good news is that the Flight 6 profile has also been approved, so we should be seeing a Flight 6 pretty soon with another catch, and yeah. I should be there in person. But you know what? I was in person for the first of four launches starting in April 23 of last year, November 2023, March of 2024 of this year, and then in June when I interviewed Elon Musk in person. I remember vividly asking him if they would catch the booster on the next launch, and he said, if everything looks good, they might as well go for it, and that's exactly what they did. Now, we saw you post on X that maybe Flight 5 you'll attempt to catch. How? What do you think is the likelihood of that? Well, I, I need to regroup with the team and confirm that there aren't any other known issues, but I think uh, g given that the booster came back, uh, came to a precise location, came to uh, essentially zero velocity landing uh, on the ocean, I, I think we... Uh, I think we should probably try to catch it with the tower arms on the next flight. I wanted to take a moment while I'm in freaking Paris to thank the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. I've been traveling a lot for work and for play, and I actually found recently that some websites are restricted in different parts of the globe that I travel to. I recently started working with Surfshark, the sponsor of this video, and had a legitimate use case while I was on a plane to Spain. I was trying to edit a thumbnail, and the website that I use actually had restricted access. So I switched on the VPN and was able to edit my thumbnail and do work on the plane. But that's just one small example of the many uses of a VPN or virtual private network. This is an app and browser extension that lets you virtually place your computer or your phone anywhere in the world and allows you to access internet as if you were there instead. There are many reasons why this can be helpful, included unexpected website restriction while traveling. You can also watch shows that may not be available in your area and who doesn't love Netflix. And you can do this by changing your location, but there's a much more serious reason that this is a great service. Surfshark adds an extra layer of security for you when you're online. Encrypting all of your information sent between your device and the internet, helping to keep you and your passwords safe on an unlimited number of devices. Surfshark also blocks ads and malware that get in your way. And they also offer a 30 day money back guarantee. And I have a special deal for you. Use my code in the description of this video, visit surfshark.com slash ellieshark for four extra months of Surfshark. By the way, here is a wonderful view in person from Danielle who said that I could share this video. Because I couldn't be there, I wanted to see what it looked like from someone watching from Isla Blanca Park, and here we go. And of course, it's incredible, and also it's actually good conditions because the last flight was pretty dang foggy. 
Here is some of our real time reaction from the live stream. I clipped it so that you don't have to watch the entire two hours, but here's, I don't know, the best part. Look at all those tiles! Three Raptor engines. We can see those ah! chops. could have a leak with some of the methane and oxygen so that could be an issue we're gonna have to see if they can get that out but exactly what there's there's no doubt it on. did catch it holy oh my god yeah but that flame is i hope they can get that shut off that's where they they load the propellant into the uh, booster when it's on the uh on the pad but this is this i can't is believe we're not freaking. there joe why are we not there? Uh, what the? I don't know. No. <laughs> was... Yeah, it... I just, I just hope they get those oh, plates off. Look what's going on. And then we still have the ship. ship. It's hard to believe that. Starship nominal orbit insertion. Awesome. Oh, right. The exciting news there. It's hard to believe that, that you know, booster isn't victory, the only so exciting. We still have that we... ways to go. Oh my Obviously, god. The booster is kind of like getting our attention, but oh my goodness. I can't believe that just happened. Yeah, well, I think we still need to keep watching the booster. They're, they're doing some depressurization right now. You can see that on the left. But on the right, the ship is in, in its orbit, too. So, so far, it's doing really pretty well. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> well, we just saw history. I mean, no one has ever attempted or caught <laughs> any rocket. Oh my oh god, my I feel I feel so much devastation that we didn't see that in real life. Oh my god. I agree. But you know, at least we, along with other people, were able to see it, and that's pretty special. I can't... Oh I, my goodness. I did not think that was going to happen today. No way. No way. No. Wow. Holy... Take that, FAA! <laughs> take that sh And of course, the booster catch was the star of the show, but we got a view from a buoy of the Starship reentry and soft splashdown. It looks like Starship nailed its targeted landing area and things should move quickly from here. I just think it's incredible how many people I've spoken to ahead of Flight 5, people in the space community that literally thought that the booster would have an explosion uh, during the catch attempt. And so I really didn't expect that we were going to see this today, but I'm so glad for SpaceX. And one of my viewers shared this video of her and her son watching uh, Joe and I live. And it is just great to have so much support from all of you all around the world. So thank you for supporting my channel and watching my coverage. And as SpaceX reminded us many times, a catch wasn't guaranteed for this flight. They had thousands of distinct vehicle and pad criteria that had to be met prior to a return and catch attempt of the super heavy booster. SpaceX also shared that the 1 million square foot star factory brings many parts of the manufacturing process under one roof for the first time, moving as much system integration work as possible earlier in the build process 
with the goal of eventually producing 1,000 ships a year. So again, yes, if you guys miss this in person, don't worry, you're not alone. And also, you'll have more opportunities to see a Starship launch in the future. We've had a lot of time in between the launches, and this is not the plan, and hopefully moving forward... The launch licenses will be expedited and we can see Starship launching just as frequently, if not more frequently, eventually than Falcon 9. Also, if you guys want to celebrate this momentous occasion, you can order a Mechazilla shirt. I have reopened the store. And so this is my favorite design. Hopefully you guys like it. We have V-necks, we have hoodies, and we also have t-shirts. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. What a crazy day. What a I'm still blown away. I'm still at a loss for words. So many emotions right now, but congratulations, SpaceX. Holy crap, you deserve it. Um, F the haters and uh, just amazing what SpaceX is doing. And now that the launch wasn't delayed, we're hopefully back on track for the American space program because SpaceX is largely carrying most of that weight.